McDonald's does not serve dickheads. So a few weeks ago, at the McDonald's where I work, I got a very annoying request from an entitled mother. I was working up the front, where the customers are serviced, and I'm a kitchen person, and was still learning how to work front, when a mother walks up to the counter while holding her son's hand, he was maybe 6 or 5. The mother ordered a happy meal for her son, luckily very simple for me to accept, while she ordered something very challenging. She ordered a wrap that was discontinued a year ago, and I told her that myself, but she was adamant on getting what she wanted. Regardless of how many times I told her, she was getting madder and madder at me, for something I had no control of. Eventually she asked if she could talk to my manager, which I hesitantly did. My manager walks over and listens to what she has to say. He told her the same thing as me, but she wanted that damn wrap. By now, the happy meal was ready and was given to my manager and I to serve. So we sent them out with just the happy meal and nothing else. My manager patted me on the back and said, I won't make you work front again. My soon-to-be mother-in-law is an entitled parent. Emil, entitled mother-in-law, Nick, fiancé, fake name, op, me, WP, wedding planner. Yes that's true, I don't know how an amazing guy has the most entitled mother ever. Four years ago I met Nick at a cafe and two years later we started dating. The year of dating he proposed on Valentine's Day. Now his mother doesn't like me. Mostly because I'm not religious and I do my own thing. Even though Nick left religion before he met me, she blames me for bringing Lucifer into his life. We're having a gothic graveyard wedding on Halloween. Mostly our wedding of our dreams. We love Halloween and old graveyards, we asked and as long as we don't disrespect graves or anything we are allowed to have a wedding there. Wedding planner did an amazing job with everything including finding a new reception venue when the other one cancelled, might be going to court for that one. We send out invites to everyone including his mother. This is the text I gotten, Emil, why aren't you getting married in a church? That's my dream for him, me, because we're not religious and the graveyard wedding was his idea. Emil so, I am going to look horrible because my son is marrying a demon girl, me Emil, I'm sorry that you feel that way. It's our day so please put difference aside for your son and come to the wedding. Everything went downhill. WP called me and asked if I change my flowers to real ones and have my theme change. She literally got hold of WP and told her that I wanted a traditional wedding now and find a church. Thankfully I clear it up and made a password to make sure Emil can't do more damage. She told everyone that the she's the groom's mother and it's her day. Me, can you please stop ruining your son's wedding? We worked very hard to have this day. If you can't stop, you will not be invited. Nick is very stressed out because of you and it's not fair. Emil, it's my day, not his. You are a demon girl ruining his life. He shouldn't even ask you to marry him. I might make a part 2 to this. She's literally is very entitled. Edit, thank you for love and support. I will make a part 2 after my wedding and honeymoon. Those who ask, no Emil didn't cancel the reception venue, the venue screw us over that's why I might be going to court, I want the $3000 back that they said in the contact. Honestly I just post this as a stress relief and I didn't expect this to blow up like it did, but thank you for gold and silver.